Breaking, heartbreaking news just released about Trump has close friend who has died. It has been a particularly rough year for loss in the entertainment industry with beloved stars passing that were part of many Americans' childhood. It seems that we hear of these icons losing a battle to illness, addiction, or some other terrible tragedy at least once, if not more each week. However, there is one death that is coming to light now after heartbreaking news of this close friend of Trump has, has just been released. Six weeks before this legendary musician passed, he revealed something incredible that his presidential pal did for him that hateful Democrats are desperate to keep hidden. It is no longer a secret anymore and now we know why it was won in the first place. Since the day that Trump was elected president, liberals have been on a mission of destruction to take him down. No other leader of this nation in history has been faced with as many allegations, false scandals, attacks, and threats of assassination than he has. He is making America great again despite all the sickening things being said about him that seem to be a desperate attempt to overshadow the reality that the left has been wrong about Trump all along. It is easy to prove that much of the slander they sling is baseless and juvenile, but it is especially disturbing no good deed of his goes unpunished. This is certainly the case with an astounding act of humility and genuine compassion for another person, that Trump showed the last person that his detractors ever expected he would, long before he entered into the race to become the President of the United States. The old adage that actions speak louder than words is true for every human, regardless of race, creed, gender, and political affiliation, but is a concept never grasped by the Democratic Party. They say a lot about our president hoping it will destroy them, but are typically guilty of their false accusations themselves. Among their massive lies is one that they have pushed that Trump is arrogant and only for himself, and every act of humility and compassion is only for himself. While they work hard to push this, they re also trying just as hard to hide what Trump did for legendary pianist W. Adziu Valentino Liberace before he died of AIDS in 1987 that proves otherwise under incredible circumstances. Just six days before his passing, he told liberal talk show host Oprah Winfrey what Trump did for him while spending time with him at Trump Tower. It has not surprising that Oprah hasn't he mentioned this since, especially recently as she acts as a big liberal shill and has expressed her desire to run against Trump in the next election, just to beat him. The Washington Post has reported. According to Western journalism, several weeks prior to W. Adziu Valentino Liberace's death on February 4, 1987, from a strain of pneumonia brought on by AIDS, the legendary pianist told talk show host Oprah Winfrey what happened when he once went shopping with Donald Trump. I had a nice fur coat on, and we went up to this furrier, and Donald saw this coat and he said, why don't you try that on? That kind of looks like you come Liberace said, pointing to the coat, which was being worn by Oprah. And I tried it on comma he continued. I said, do you really think it looks like me question mark he says, I like it better than the one you re-wearing dot so I say, well maybe I should get it and then dot he said, no, wait, wait don't. So we left, and I said, why wouldn't you let me buy that coat question mark because, he said, I can get a better price for you. The premise of the story appeared to be that even when spending time with friends, Trump always kept the basic principles of business in mind. Whether now President Trump still maintains this dedication remains unclear, though his success in the business world suggests he never stopped obsessing over basic principles like the one that states products should be purchased at the lowest rate possible. It is these personal and business practices that make Trump who he is and an incredible president. They are the combination of qualities yet to be seen in his liberal counterparts who don't he want Americans to finally wise and great again, or for the economy to be economically healthy since they would lose the power of controlling people reliant on the government supporting them and their major voting base. Whether Liberati would still support Trump today in his presidency may never be known, but the bond the two formed before this musician's passing seems to suggest that he would have liked the changes his friend has made to America. It is for this mindset, work ethic, and attitude of excellence and opulence that Liberace himself was as successful as he was and what he has in common with our country's commander-in-chief, in chief, 